Wait, but it's Galvatron. He's already an upgrade. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Hemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DNA Design DK30 Upgrade Kit for Kingdom or Legacy Galvatron. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. We have a nice image there of Galvatron. He looks so content. DK30 WFC Upgrade Kit. I don't know why it's always plural, but whatever. Up top, DK30. On the side, DK30. On the other side, DK30. On the bottom, words and things. On the back of the box, obligatory product shots. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then, moving right along, here we have the upgrade kits for Galvatron. Now, just to reiterate, yes, this will work with either the Kingdom or the Legacy Galvatron. It's the same figure, so duh, of course it'll work for both. And here is everything you get with the kit. Um, You get a pair of leg extensions. I already have one installed, but here is one of them. Um, we get a G1 toy gun here, which is very nicely detailed. You get some silver in there as well. Very nicely done. You also get a bloosh for said gun. This will also work in his arm cannon. We get some... Uh, fillers here for those rivets on the backs of his shoulders. We get a new chain for his matrix. We get a new headpiece that will accommodate new faces. We get three faces here that we can swap out for Mr. Galvatron here. And we also get some new posable hands, which is nice. And of course we get some hardware, skitties, and some tools that we need. So without further ado, let's bring in Galvatron and show off how all of this works. And here is little teapot Galvatron. Here he is, standing on one leg because he kind of has to now because I already have the one side installed, so he can't really, he can't really. But you can see what happens when you add these new leg extensions. It gives him an extra half an inch of height. You can see, makes the legs a bit longer. So we're just going to start from the bottom and uh, work our way up with this kit. So we're going to start off with installing these new leg pieces. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up this piece right here so we have access to the screws and we're going to undo these two screws right here in the backs of the legs. So undo those real quick. And once you have that done, you do want to hold on to these screws. You will need them for later. So once you've done that, you then want to just pop all of this up. You do have to pop out this section too, which you may need something to just kind of wedge up under there. There we go. Just pop this section up. You have to hold on to this and pop this out. And then you're just going to split this part as well. So just get all this taken apart, like so. So here is his foot, and what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take these new pieces, splits in half, this section here just feeds right into the front. So just work that in. And once you've done that, you just take the back here, and this will just slide right into the other side so it sits like that. And once you've done that, then you can put the rest of the leg back together. So just put this back on, put this back on, and here is now what you have. So then you just take all this, put this all back onto the leg, slide this piece back in, like so. Now they do supply you with a screw for the new section here. So you use this screw for the bottom and you use the two existing screws for the top part of the leg. So you're just reusing these. And once you have all that going, now and once you have all of that nice and then snuggened, you are done. You can just take this, bring this back around, tap it in, and there we go. We have 
Galvatron standing a bit taller now. That's nice. That's nice. I think it makes the shins look a little too long now, but, you know, it gives him an extra bit of height. And he still has his ankle tiltage. He actually has some extra ankle tiltage. He has lots of ankle tiltage. He has two points of ankle tiltage now. Hey, you can never have enough ankle tiltage. But, hey, things you can do if you want to do it. And just to show off how this looks now, here he is with Rodimus. You can see he is now quite a bit taller than Rodimus. So, there you have that. So overall, height-wise, it bumps him up to about 8 inches tall. So, there you have the new leg pieces installed. Now, as far as the new hands go, it's simply a case of just pop the old one off of the mushroom peg, take the new one, and pop that on. Like so, and there we go. And now he has posable hands I can open and close. Uh, th there's an odd design choice here, though, because, like, his index finger, there's only a hinge at the base, but there's no hinge here at this knuckle. But the other three fingers have a hinge there mid-knuckle, which is kind of, that's odd. That seems like an odd choice. I don't know why, but hey, that's what they did. But hey, at least you get some posable hands there. And if you don't like those unsightly exposed rivets, as opposed to all the other ones that are out here exposed, but if you don't like the ones on his shoulders specifically, hey, they got you covered. They covered. They cover him. <laughs> anyway, so you can just pop in these covered pieces here. Just pop right in and pop right in. And that's all there is to that. And bye-bye. Shoulder of it. There you go. Again, things you can do if you want to do it. So now let's move up to the noggin because even that gets an upgrade. Yes, it does. So we need to take apart his head. So you're just going to undo this one screw right back here. And once you've done that, you just remove the front part of his head. You want to remove the crest here. That is a separate piece. And we bring in this new piece here. So... We attach the crest to that, and then we just put his head back together. So put that in, and now we get down the screwing. So once you have that done, that looks kind of disturbing now, but now we have the option of swappable faces. So we can just peg on this face and have Sirius Galvatron, but if you don't want Sirius Galvatron, we can swap the face, and I do give you a... Uh, a pin knocker router here, and this is to actually knock out the faces. It's now a face knocker router, so just <laughs> push it from behind, pop the face out, and if you don't like serious Galvatron, we can have smirking Galvatron. He's happy. He's smiling. He's like, hey. But if you don't like that, if you don't like, you know, kind of smirking Galvatron, well, we can pop this out, and we can have just full-on laughing Galvatron all like, ha! He can do all kinds of that, so. There you go. You also get a new chain for his matrix, so we can properly display his bling. And uh, I like to orient the chain like this, these loops here. I like to have them sitting on the inside like that because then it will help the matrix hang a bit better. But you can do this one of two ways. If you want, you can totally just plug this into the slot here on top of his chest. You do have the tab for it, so you can just drop it down like so and have it like that so that way it will never go anywhere. Or you can just kind of have it just hanging off his neck au naturel, which is personally the way that I like to have it, but as always, it's yours, display it however you wish, but you can have that going on if you want to. So you have a nice new chain for his matrix. And the last thing is the G1 toy gun, again, very nicely detailed, a little bit of paint in there, you can just pop that right into his hand, and he does hold that nice and secure-like. Once you get it in, there we go. Plug that in like so, so you can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang, and all of that good stuff. You do also get a bloosh for it, which is quite nice. Again, this will fit into his big old cannon as well, so it works with either one. Plug it into that, and we can do a big old Galvatron bloosh. 
why not? It's an upgraded bloosh, an upgraded Galva bloosh. And another little feature to show off here with the uh, new Matrix holder is it does allow Galvatron to now hold the Matrix. So what you do is you just put his thumbs through those ports there and just wrap the fingers around it. So now he can hold his Matrix and try to get it open unsuccessfully, of course. So that is basically it for the installation. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So you're going to transform him exactly the same way. So we're just going to do that real quick. And here we have him in his cannon mode. And you can see we can just store the matrix as usual with the chain. Now this is the stock configuration here. Um, you can see how... These new leg pieces just kind of fold down here and actually gives them a little bit of a better angle there in cannon mode. Now you can store this gun on the cannon mode if you want to. It involves some kind of reconfiguring here. So what you would have to do is take this off and just reconnect his arm cannon and just plug all of this up front. And you have to take this section here and just shift it forward like that and then what you can do is you can plug this into this port you want it facing backwards and then you want to bring these pieces up and there are tabs and slots on either side that this will plug onto like so and like so and that will hold that in place like that of course this involves kind of getting the hinges and everything sitting just right. There we go. You can get all that popped right in. There you go. That should sit nice and flush, just like that. So you can have all that stored on him if you want to. Again, things you can do if you want to do it. Totally optional, but again, options are good. You know what else is good? Blushing. That's right. Also good. So there you have the upgrade kit for Galvatron. And yeah, it's a solid little kit. Nice piece of kit. It makes him a little taller, although it does make the shins look a little too long now, but all in all, still gives him that extra height if you felt that was something he was missing. Some extra accessories, a nice chain for his matrix, posable hands, which is always a plus, although the index finger not being fully articulated is kind of weird. You also get swappable faces now, which gives you extra display options, which I like. So all in all, not a bad kit in my opinion. I'm sure many of you will think this is totally pointless and blah, blah, blah. DNA is not what they used to be, blah, blah, blah. Hey, if you don't like it, don't buy it. Simple as that. Not every figure needs a complete overhaul. Sometimes it just needs those extra little touches. And, you know, that's what this kit does. And I think it does it well, in my opinion, anyway, so there you go now if you would like this or any of dna designs other offerings you can always check out bigbadtoystore.com for availability there'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out and i think that's it so don't forget to check out m games check out love peace paranormal follow me on twitter all of that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the dna design dk30 upgrade kit for kingdom and legacy galvatron and this is mgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, bomb in your face.